Welcome to Lisa's Ladle, where we're cooking big in small places. Hello, my friends, and welcome to Lisa's Ladle. If you're new to this channel, you will find out what are some of the challenges learning to cook your favorite recipes on a boat. If you visited my galley before, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome aboard. Today's recipe is pineapple bread pudding. It is delicious, sweetly delicious. The ingredients you will need, let's take a look. One cup of granulated sugar. This is four well-beaten eggs. Half a cup of coconut. Half a cup of raisins. And they're the golden, delicious type. Half a cup of walnuts. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. And a half a cup of butter. This is one can, a 20 ounce can of pineapple chunks with the juice. We're making gluten-free pineapple bread pudding. So I made a gluten-free white bread and it's all cubed and ready to get into the bread pudding. I also have a nine by nine baking dish that is already greased and ready to go once we get our ingredients put together. Let's get our aprons on and start cooking. You wanna add your eggs to your sugar first and you're gonna keep stirring anywhere from a minute to two minutes until that sugar dissolves. Oh, guys. Let's go ahead and preheat our oven to 350 because it's not going to take us very long to get all this put together. 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I think the sugar takes longer to dissolve than it takes to put the whole pudding together. You would be really tempted to add your other ingredients now. It looks like it's smooth, but if you take a closer look, it's still gra grainy, so that sugar's not completely dissolved. Dissolve it all the way, guys, before you add those new ingredients, because if you don't, it, you're going to taste that grainy, graininess in the bread pudding. Don't forget to keep your pineapple juice, or else your bread pudding is going to be too dry. This part is why you need a large bowl. You're gonna be adding your 16 slices of bread, which comes out to be one homemade gluten-free loaf of bread for me, to the large bowl. You wanna make sure if you make your bread homemade or if you're using a already bought loaf, let it sit overnight. That way it's a little bit more sturdy before you put it into the bread pudding. And you want to soak those bread. Cubes of bread. Soak those cubes of bread. With all that yummy deliciousness. Gosh, it smells so good and pineapple-y. Once your bread's nice and coated with the pineapple juices in your mix, go ahead and pour it into your greased baking dish. Sprinkle the brown sugar on top. We're ready to bake this bad dish. Put it in your 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for 40 minutes. Check it to make sure it's golden brown. If it doesn't look golden brown, leave it in there for another five or 10 minutes. Ladle 
love tip, guys. If you're new to baking or new to cooking, you want to stay on top of your dishes. Clean as you go or else you're going to have a huge mess at the end. While the bread pudding's in the oven baking, I'm going to go ahead and do some dishes. And then after the dishes, where I'm going to come back to you and show you how to put that vanilla drizzle yumminess on top of the bread pudding. See you in a bit. Guys, we have less than four minutes before our bread pudding is going to be done. So we're going to make the vanilla, the drizzle, the vanilla drizzle yumminess. What you need to make this deliciousness is one tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon of milk, this is a half a can of sweetened condensed milk, which is about seven ounces, and one teaspoon of vanilla. And you just need to pour everything into your pot. A small saucepan. If you have a sweet tooth, this is really going to scratch that itch that you may have. Basically all you're doing is melting the butter and warming it all up so you can drizzle it over your bread pudding. This is such an easy and sweet sauce. It just really adds an extra oomph to your bread pudding. Ooh, our bread pudding's done just in time because the sauce is already silky, silky and creamy, ready to drizzle. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Look at that guys. We need, ooh, try you? Yes, I will. No, I won't. It's very hot. Here we go. Drizzle right out of the hot saucepan. If you are looking for a different type of dessert and you have a sweet tooth for your holidays, I am telling you guys, you got to try this. If you like pineapple, if you like sweetness, if you like nuts, and you can put anything in it you want. Don't like raisins? Leave them out. Don't like coconut? Leave it out. It is so good. This dish took us 55 minutes to make from start to finish, including the sauce. 55 minutes. And you have a nice holiday dessert. It serves about nine healthy portions. Of course, you can make that into more if you want to do a little bit smaller size portions. As always, my friends, live, laugh, love, lick that ladle, and I'll keep cooking until I see you next time. From our family to yours, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy, prosperous new year. Thanks for watching, guys. See, I'm ready to be the world